what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to remove the paypal button or the uh, express checkout with paypal on your products page on shopify so i'll show you what i mean by that here i have a shopify store set up and if i go to online store here and preview it'll open up my online store if i go to a product page here now you should see under by now a an express or uh, express checkout with paypal it should be like a yellowish button with the PayPal logo on it. Now, the reason I don't have it is that I don't have PayPal set up yet. And by what I mean by that is if I go back and close this tab, if I go back to my online store here, I click on the settings on the menu on the left. It'll open up the settings for my store. Now, if I go to payments and by default here, you should have the PayPal uh, payment method. Now, of course, you need to activate it by signing in with PayPal or to your PayPal account. And of course, you need to have a business PayPal account, not a personal. My account is personal, so this didn't work. Now, what you want to do is to click on activate PayPal. Now, click on activate. Of course, this is to enable the uh, PayPal payment. Okay, I'm not a robot. Okay, they are performing a security check. And now I need to sign in with my PayPal account, of course, my email, then in the next step, my password, and I'm done. And in this way, I should have PayPal activated, and then I should have the PayPal checkout button. Now, to deactivate it, it's pretty easy. You should go back here, if you have, or if you are on your homepage, on your uh, Shopify store, you should go to your settings, and then payments once again. And you should see here that PayPal is active. All you need to do is to click here on the button and then it'll open up a new menu where you deactivate or disable PayPal. Now, of course, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you disable PayPal, you shouldn't see the button. Just like the page, as I showed you in the beginning, it doesn't have the PayPal checkout button. However, you should need or at least have one or two payment methods that are activated. So before you disable or deactivate PayPal, I do recommend that you enable at least one other payment method. So what I'm going to do now is add a new payment method. If your Shopify store is newly created and you only have PayPal and you signed in with your PayPal account, activated PayPal and accepting PayPal payments. And let's say for some reason, um, for example, you have some issues with your PayPal account. You want to stop accepting payments with PayPal until you resolve the issue. Simply click add payment method. And here you have many payment methods that Let's say I want to add, for example, card payments here. Um, I have many options for credit card payments here, advanced credit card payments. For example, I need to enable this. Click on it, install the app, continue the installation. And of course, here I need to add a security key and merchant ID from my UZ or UC Pay uh, account. Of course, you need to go to UC Pay, create an account. Okay, but you get the idea. Let's go back here to the payments. Alternatively, you can add uh, manual payment methods such as, for example, cash on delivery. Scroll down, you should see here pay, uh, manual payment methods. Click on manual payment method. You have bank deposit, money order, cash on delivery. So um, the easiest one to set up is cash on delivery. Okay, here additional details. For example, uh, use cash on delivery here uh, instructions for the customer pay the courier in cash once he delivers your item okay and now activate cash on delivery and this option will show up in the checkout page or the payment methods page once your client orders your item or your product on Pay, uh, Shopify. 